elimination by Mike Tyson. Tyson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Mike Tyson blocking that punch. One but gives one. Good work by Lewis. There's the combo to the body. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Get up, damn it. Six. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but. If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Throws a counter punch there. Little volume punching to the body there. You're not focusing. You Ten need to seconds block. to go in this third round. Tyson's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip this punch, then throw it straight right down the middle. Okay, listen. Body, body, and double up your punches. Body. Don't give him a chance to set his teeth and get any punches off. This is turning into a wasted effort here as we reflect on the first three rounds and get a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Yes, he's throwing punches, but nothing's landing clean. He's down on your scorecard, three zips. Yeah, he's wide open every time he throws, and he's getting caught kind of, especially that right hand, right up the middle. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Not just loading up, he's landing combination punches like he did right there. Keep moving, keep moving. Move. Blocks that belt line well. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Halfway through round number four. Come on, kid, focus. By Lewis. Work the body. Move. Mike Tyson's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Nice job doubling up the jab by Mike Tyson. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Get your hands up.
Lewis is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And this round comes to an end. And you can just see that he doesn't have much to him. Not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it. So he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Mike Tyson's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past it. Another right hand. <laughs> Halfway into round number five here. himself and it's a left hand blocks away that headshot Exchange there. Work the body, his body shot. Move your head. Keep looking good. Tyson showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Mike Tyson, he was so very accurate. And Teddy, if you want to have one single quality out there as an offensive fighter, accuracy is among the ones you want to have. Yeah, to be accurate, that means you have to be calm. And you have to be smart that you know that you're putting the punches in certain specific places for a reason. And boxing is not just about the strongest guys. It's supposed to be, and it usually is, about the smartest guys. Parries that punch intended for the head. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Lewis. Keep your distance. Come on. Give up. 